Today we're gonna bring a neck gear switch. It can include it with the actual instructions. Now this switch is um, eight gig, eight port gigabyte ethernet, smart manage plus. Now it's PoE up to, it's PoE plus. Just to let you guys know, look at that. One of them's gonna be for the actual internet. So we're gonna set it up and we're not gonna mount it, but they give you mounts in here. They give you rubber ends for the legs too, but we're gonna actually mount it right over our power source because um, this is the only power source we have in here and um, we want to distribute the internet from there. So we're just gonna rest it from here, pretty much this way and get the power set up in here. Rest it on this metal, on this metal piece, the heavy part duty. We're gonna do double sided tape on both of them and then distribute the internet from there. So four or five inches off the ground and it's gonna be tied in, zip tied with all the stuff, cable management. This is my only power entry. This is where I have my computer set up. So all the inputs are gonna be from here. I have another setup in the back, but this is the closest one I'm gonna set up in here, double-sided tape. I angled it a little bit so I could get the power out. Um, I rest the power on a pipe that I currently have for power. Um, I'm gonna zip tie it a little bit so it could be my cable manager. This is double-sided tape too, and this is double-sided tape. It's a little Mickey Mouse setup, but it does the job and it's gonna get me more internet on this side. So. All right, let's take a look at some of the features that the PoE Plus has. Now, you can set your limits on all these systems. So right now I have a up, if you guys see it, the yellow one, that's actually my internet coming in. And this is actually my PC here. And if you guys see it, it has a full 1,000 uh, megabytes per second, right? So it's one gigabyte. And then we have no limits to the rate. We could control the rate here. So say you have a household, somebody's uh, abusing the internet and you want to maybe slow them down, you can do that through here. Now, another great feature is that you could come in here and disable certain machines, disable certain ports, disable certain devices that are available. You know, but right now, as you can see, I have nothing available here. Now, one of the great things about it is that you come into the PoE and this is where you actually control the power of the systems. And here's your limitation. If you guys can see all the, the, the bits and, and, and you can enable one by one, if you want, just change it, enable how many, how, how much power you want to change it. You could edit this stuff. You could go in there and delete the voltage. You could actually set the rate to power limit to 30 to 40 up to, like I said, it goes higher than that. So you could go one by one device or you could do all at once too. So you could control this. So if you want to get power to another device through here, this is where you have to actually go in through. Now you could diagnose Say you have a fail system. You could come in here and check the fail systems in here. Um, detect if there's a loop, somebody's dropping your network. You know, somebody has another router in there and an interface that's not supposed to be there. This is how you interface. So the settings under settings, you actually, we actually just did an upgrade on the firmware and it takes you straight to the Netgear site if you want to download it. You could just go in there and basically we ended up getting the latest firmware in here. If you guys could see that. So I was able to uh, update it. It takes about a couple minutes. You're not supposed to turn off the internet or anything because they might have some issues here. Once you select your file, you update it and it pretty much it's set to go. Now to locate the actual system itself, you're going to have to find it through your, maybe, you know, do a, a search on your network, make sure that you could find the IP. Uh, mine was nine two. So I was able to find it simple right here and I could discover switch other devices. You know, I could on, automatically enable, I could disable the led lights, reboot the switch from here, access control, uh, DOS preventing factory re reset. So this will actually reset the password right now. The current password that comes with it, it's, it's password. So I, right when you log in, it's going to ask you to reset it. You can do that too. Uh, you can change the password anytime product registration. It's going to keep asking you to register the whole system. So just make sure you're aware. And then you go back up the whole documentation to all the settings that you set up. If you're ever going to wrote, uh, say you're going to switch out the switch, you can always do that. So it's very simple, easy to do. You got home, you got settings and other stuff. And I like that you control the powers and I hope you guys enjoy the video.